You may be wondering why I'm standing in my bathroom right now and why anyone would choose to do an informed speech from a bathroom. Well, there's two reasons. The first being that the lighting in here is dope and probably the best I'm gonna find throughout this house right now. The second being that I wanna to talk to you today about Western beauty standards and the effects that they're having on our society. My choice of location will hopefully make sense later in my speech. I'm gonna to talk today about the effects that mainstream Western beauty standards have on people who do not fit into that guideline. I will start by discussing the history of beauty, followed by what effects these standards have on individuals, and finally close with some information that will hopefully leave you thinking critically about your own standards based on the information that I've provided today. First, I'd like to begin by defining the phrase feminine beauty ideal. It's defined by Encyclopedia as the socially constructed notion that attractiveness is one of women's most important assets and something all women should strive to achieve and maintain. Throughout history, there have been many ideals that are set by different cultures and societies. While it's understood that most cultures have their own standards of beauty, it's also worth noting the effects that Western beauty standards are having globally and how the majority of remote locations around the world also have access to Western media. Carmen Schaefer writes in her article, Unpacking the Influences of Western Beauty Standards, that one of the complex consequences of colonization and globalization is that we live in a world where the universal standard of beauty is white. If we look at the history of beauty standards in the US, which includes slavery, colorism, and racism, we can note the difficulty that many have to attain these standards. Now that I've talked a little bit about the history of beauty standards, I'd like to move on to the effects that they are having on individuals. Recently, there have been studies that show the ill effects of beauty standards and that what they're having on our society. We've been reminded by the media that standards of beauty need to fall within a specific skin tone, height, and weight. The depiction of these images of beauty can not only cause ridicule from others, but they can cause emotional turmoil as well. The unrealistic expectations that are depicted are taking their toll on members of our society. A study conducted by the Florida House Experience found that within a thousand men and women sur it surveyed, 87% of women and 65% of men compare their bodies to images on social media, with the majority of those people doing so unfavorably. Following my discussion, of the Western beauty standards on a broader scale, I'd like to narrow that down to the effects on women of color. Renee Mascaro states, African American women here in the United States have been judged on their physical appearance since slavery. Black was never associated with beauty during the evolution of our country. Many African American women suffer with body image issues due to these results. In an article entitled, Women's Body Standards Throughout the World, written by students at St. Mary's College, it's noted that body dissatisfaction can often be linked to eating disorders, depression, and low self-esteem. The beauty industry relies on people spending money to attain the unrealistic standards that they have placed on appearance. But what would happen if we were informed about those unattainable standards? Now that I've discussed the history of beauty standards and its effects, I would like to show you why I'm in my bathroom before moving forward to my conclusion. Just a second. All right. So I'm here because I wanted to get rid of the Western beauty standards and show you who I am to present the rest of my conclusion for this. I would like to conclude by covering the things that we've discussed in this short amount of time. I've discussed how beauty is defined and the amount of people that are negatively affected by the Western definition of beauty. I would like you to take note of your own features. Many of us have heard the phrase that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. 
This speech is not to persuade you that you are beautiful, but instead to present information about the truth of your individual beauty. Thank you.